just in time for Halloween. We've had another ask around the office to check what our staff's favourite horror games are, and here is what they had to say for your spooky perusal. Outlast. Outlast is more than just cheap jump scares. It was a frightening story-driven experience which had you fear for your life as the inmates of Mount Massive Asylum hunt you down. You couldn't fight back, and all you could do was run and hide. But while that made your heart race in tense moments of horror, what made things worse was the fear of running out of batteries of your trusted video camera, which was your only source of light as you navigate the perils of Mount Massive Asylum. Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem This was by far and away the best game on the GameCube. Yes, that's right, the GameCube. Nintendo did allow some freaky shit back in the day, and this was genuinely terrifying. The game pitted you against zombies across history. What made it unique was an interesting sanity mechanic, long before Amnesia did it. As your sanity meter dropped, the game would get progressively more weird. Things like exploding heads, spikes killing you, invulnerable enemies, and so on would appear. Then, your character would snap out of it and reveal it was just a daydream. The biggest panic of all came if you tried to save your game with low sanity. There was a small chance that the game would mimic erasing the contents of your memory card. A terrifying moment for any gamer in days before cloud saves. Soma, from the creators of Amnesia, Soma has an almost system shock level of technological horror, frightful and story driven. Fear for your life as you venture into the depths of an underwater remote research facility known as Payforce 2. Five Nights at Freddy's 1. When the original game hit in late 2014, it offered a game experience that hadn't really been seen before, which is what made it so popular. Not being able to defend against enemies is nothing new to the horror genre, but not even being able to move and having to carefully juggle how much you keep an eye on the foe due to the limited power, this game brought us a horror experience that was previously untouched upon. Even before all, the intense and intricate lore behind the game began to be discovered. This unexpected gem struck the internet by storm and offered a horror experience that caused it to leave a memorable mark upon the gaming world. Alien Isolation Alien Isolation is an intense experience that excellently captures the perfect horror movie, Alien. Unlike the disappointment of colonial marines, alien isolation is the true, blood-pumping, heart-racing experience of being stalked and hunted by one of the most iconic aliens of all time, the Xenomorph. Condemned Criminal Origins In a month's what's already an edge-of-the-seat game with tension, the damned mannequin sequence will especially put the shits up you. It's one thing for the enemies to be creeping up on you when you're not looking, but static dolls devoid of any living tissues. Yeah. Bioshock. Already known for its moody, underwater environment, playing this in the dark, with the surround sound turned up, is surefire way to send chills up your spine. The knowledge that you can't leave the buildings, and simply running away from what's chasing you, only adds to the suspense. And that's our list. But what's your opinion? What's your favourite horror game? Tell us, and leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then give the like button a push, and be sure to share and subscribe. Till next time, happy Halloween.